Imagine a horse that never eats, never sleeps, and never slows down. Now power it with hydrogen, swap muscle for metal, and you've got something completely revolutionary. From iconic green motorcycles to quadruped robots that defy physics, Kawasaki just made a leap no one saw coming. In April 2025, everyone at the Kansai Expo in Osaka eagerly awaited the familiar roar of Kawasaki's next superbike. Instead, the Japanese manufacturer unveiled the Corleo, a four-legged hydrogen-powered machine you can ride. This metal beast isn't just futuristic, it could radically transform how we move around. But what you're about to see next exceeds all expectations. Stay until the end because I guarantee you won't see it coming. Standing approximately 1.5 meters tall, equipped with an aerodynamic visor inspired by sport bikes, the Corleo looks like it came straight out of a science fiction story. But here's the impressive part. Inside its sculpted torso beats a 150 cubic centimeter hydrogen engine, generating 20 horsepower. Instead of spinning wheels, this engine drives a generator that powers electric motors in each leg. And here's the part that'll blow your mind. The only byproduct the Corleo releases is water. Zero pollution, even in the middle of a tropical jungle. The legs are the real differentiator. A motorcycle-style swing arm on each rear limb allows it to rise and fall independently, absorbing impacts like an off-road bike suspension. The legs are made of non-slip rubber and split laterally, adapting to sand and gripping well on uneven rocks. Visual sensors with artificial intelligence adjust each step, making it move with the confidence of a mountain goat, not with the typical clanking of a machine. Riding the Corleo is familiar. A motorcycle-style seat, simple handlebars, and retractable pedals. No joystick. Simply lean your body or move the handlebars, and the Corleo obeys like a real horse. Pressure sensors interpret these movements, transforming body balance into steering commands. Think of hydrogen as rocket fuel served in a reusable thermos. The Corleo carries this bottle behind the seat, a carbon wrap cylinder. Simply unlock two pins, slide the empty cylinder out, and snap in a new one. The process takes the same time as putting on a helmet. This means rescue teams will never need to search for an outlet in the middle of the wilderness. Once connected, the small single-cylinder engine awakens with a soft sound. The chemistry is simple and efficient. Hydrogen plus oxygen generates electricity and a puff of water vapor. No carbon dioxide, no fuel smell, barely any vapor. Let's be honest, the Corleo isn't the only robot walking on legs out there, but it's the only one built to be ridden by humans. Boston Dynamics' famous spot is roughly the size of a large dog. Fully autonomous and extremely capable, but its maximum load is just 14 kilograms. Barely enough for a backpack, not for a human. Hyundai's deli moves on hidden wheels, is sleek and chats with visitors, but lives in indoor environments and doesn't adapt to uneven terrain. Yamaha's Motobot pilots a real R1 motorcycle at high speed, but it's fixed to the bike and doesn't walk on its own legs. The Corleo was created to carry real humans on real terrain. It's hydrogen-powered, not gasoline, which means quick refueling, great range, and zero emissions. It walks, doesn't roll, has rubber legs, not wheels, and responds to the rider's body like a living being. This revolution didn't come out of nowhere. Kawasaki's robotics history began in 1968 when it partnered with Unimation, inventors of the first industrial robot. In 1981, they launched fully electric robots. In 2015, the Duaro with two arms that mimics human movements. And now more than 50 years later, the Corleo represents the natural evolution of that experience. But for motorcycles, Kawasaki has always been synonymous with speed. In 1969, they launched the H1 Mach 3, the world's fastest motorcycle. In 1984 came the legendary Ninja GPZ900R, the first to exceed 240 km/h and star of Top Gun. In 2015, the Ninja H2R broke the 300 km per hour barrier. Now that DNA of speed and precision lives in four metal legs. Imagine a mountain city after a landslide. The road is blocked by car-sized rocks, century-old trees knocked down, and kilometers of debris. Helicopters can't land due to winds. Wheeled vehicles get stuck in the first few meters. Every passing minute, lives are at risk. Traditional rescue teams are completely limited. That's exactly the scenario Kawasaki had in mind. A vehicle that goes where wheels can't. Carrying medical supplies, communication equipment, or specialized personnel, all without emitting a single polluting particle. 
Early figures indicate the Corleo can carry 100 kilograms, cover 240 kilometers on a tank, and move at a light trot speed. The presentation video mentions a theoretical top speed near 100 kilometers per hour. In the demonstration, it climbed a pile of concrete blocks without spilling the pilot's coffee. Its potential transcends the most dramatic emergencies. Rural doctors would reach clinics in mountain villages where no traditional vehicle has ever been. Environmental agents would patrol vast, delicate ecosystems without the need to build destructive roads that fragment natural habitats. With advanced sensors and sophisticated artificial intelligence, it could track endangered species, strategically plant seeds in critical reforestation zones, or silently patrol against illegal hunters and protected reserves. All of this moving like a ghost through nature, without noise that scares animals, without tracks that mark the terrain, without emissions that pollute the pristine air of wild areas. And here things get really interesting. Think about Mars, the red planet that obsesses humanity. NASA, ESA, and private companies like SpaceX are investing billions in long-term human missions to colonize that hostile world. But before any astronaut sets foot there, we need infrastructure, detailed exploration, habitat assembly, a specialized version of the Corleo, adapted for the Martian environment, and powered by hydrogen cells or ultra-efficient solar panels, could be the key. Imagine it. Quadruped robots carrying heavy tools through rocky canyons, mounting communication stations on impossible terrain, or mapping underground caverns that will serve as shelters against radiation. The Cerberus team, with financial support from DARPA, already deployed quadruped prototypes in terrestrial caves that perfectly simulate Martian conditions. The results were surprising. They navigated terrain that would destroy any wheeled rover. But not everything is perfect. Legs are infinitely more complex than wheels. Every time the Corleo lifts a leg, dozens of sensors and motors must react instantly. If one fails, the entire system destabilizes. The cost will be prohibitive initially. Kawasaki didn't reveal the price, but a rideable robot with artificial intelligence won't cost the same as a bicycle. Hydrogen stations are rare worldwide. Unless you live near a pilot project, refueling will require planning. Legal classification is another obstacle. Is it a car, motorcycle, or drone? Where will it be allowed to operate? Will it require a license? These are questions that will determine whether it becomes a useful tool or gets trapped in bureaucracy. Public perception also matters. While many will see it as revolutionary innovation, others will consider it unnecessary. There will always be skeptics asking, why not just use a regular bicycle? But that happened with electric cars, drones, and smartphones. The Corleo may be a robot horse today, but it represents something much greater. Cities were designed for wheels, wide streets, traffic lights, parking lots. The Corleo walks, steps over obstacles, climbs stairs. Suddenly, cities could prioritize people, more green areas, less asphalt, walkable neighborhoods where robots blend into the landscape. In conservation, teams working in difficult terrain depend on noisy ATVS or invasive helicopters. The Corleo moves silently, leaves no trace, doesn't scare animals or destroy soil. It doesn't replace nature, it helps protect it. No need for smooth roads, no noise from fossil fuels, no old idea that transportation means tires. What we're building isn't just new locomotion, it's a new way of thinking about how we move through the world and perhaps other worlds. The Corleo's obstacles are real, but so are the challenges that demand a mount built for the impossible. When you see one climbing rocky mountains emitting only water vapor, you'll wonder why anyone doubted a robot horse. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to show your support with a like, a subscription, and hitting the bell to stay updated on our videos. See you in the next one.